This video demonstrates the standard operating procedure with respect to the vapor liquid equilibrium experiment in the unit operations laboratory at Lafayette College. This VLE setup will be examining the phase separation of a methanol water system. Before operating the twin stills associated with the VLE apparatus, be sure to wear appropriate lab gear such as safety glasses, hard hats, long pants, and closed-toed shoes. Also, make sure all long hair is tied back and out of the way. Lab coats and gloves should be worn when preparing and handling the solutions. Solutions should always be prepared in the chemical hood. When collecting tops and bottom samples, heat gloves should also be worn to prevent burns. It is advised to review the MSDS for methanol before the experiment to review potential hazards and appropriate responses. Sample Preparations To model vapor-liquid equilibrium of methanol water solutions, refer to the TXY diagram to select a wide range of concentrations, such as 0.2 to 0.8 mole percent methanol. The calculation of the volume of each component should be performed prior to lab. Using graduated cylinders, prepare a 350 milliliter solution of water and methanol with the desired mole fractions if using one still. Prepare 700 milliliters of solution if using both stills. This will minimize sample variability in the duplicate runs as a source of error. Startup of VLE. Before adding any of the solution to the still pot, ensure that the bottom valve is closed. Also, make sure the three-way valve is turned to the correct position to allow for the condensate to reflux back into the still pot. Remove the stopper from the still. Use a funnel to add 350 milliliters of solution to the still pot and close the still with a stopper. If a spill occurs, notify a lab supervisor and clean with a dry neutral agent. Next, open the cold water valve to allow for cold water to flow through the condenser. Turn the electric heater on and set the dial to 100%. Do not turn on the electric heater before the solution is in the still pot to ensure the glass does not become overheated and break. When the liquid begins to boil, reduce the temperature to 60%. Once the temperatures of the two thermometers are constant and approximately equal, record these temperatures and wait 15 minutes before collecting a tops and bottoms product. If the condenser was perfectly insulated, the temperature readings of the two thermometers should be equal. After 15 minutes have passed, adjust the three-way valve so the vapor goes into the top product flask. Collect about 20 milliliters of condensed vapor. The TXY diagram can be used in conjunction with the desired concentration for dilution to determine the actual volume of tops and bottoms products that needs to be collected. Turn the valve to allow the condensed vapor to exit for collection. Simultaneously, open the bottoms valve to collect 30 milliliters of bottoms product. Then, place the top and bottoms flasks in an ice bath to allow for cooling. Shut down of VLE. Turn the heater off and reduce the dial to 0% before the sample is emptied. Drain the sample and dispose of it in the appropriate hazardous waste container. Then, drain the remaining solution from the still pot and fill the still with water to flush the system. Close the cooling water valve. Obtaining data from VLE dilution. To analyze the compositions of the top and bottoms products, the samples will need to be diluted, prepped, and analyzed using the gas chromatograph. A methanol water TXY diagram can be used to approximate the molar concentration of each solution. To identify a target sample concentration, use a calibration curve created for the components of interest on the GC. To learn more about the operation of the gas chromatograph, Watch the related videos on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.